Hi, I'm Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is Galatians 5 verse 1, which says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Today I want to talk about bondage. Can we be in bondage and not know it? Well, I'd like to read from the Voice Bible, 2 Timothy 2, verse 23 to 26, which says, Excuse yourself from any conversations that turn into foolish and uninformed debates because you know they only provoke fights. As the Lord's slave, you shouldn't exhaust yourself in bickering. Instead, be gentle no matter how you are dealing with sorry, no matter who you are dealing with, ready and able to teach, tolerant without resentment, gently instructing those who stand up against you. Besides, the time may come when God grants them a change of heart so that they can arrive at the full knowledge of truth. And if they come to their senses, they can escape the devil's snare and walk freed from the captivity and evil bidding. Now, obviously, unbelievers have their minds blinded, but I believe that believers can be deceived and blinded in areas as well. A while ago, a few months ago, on one of the media sites, I posted a comment, God has a, a great plan for your life, embrace it. And the feedback that I got, the comments under that, just blew me away. They were vicious and they came from Christians. I was really quite shocked. I didn't engage in an argument. I did do a blog post and stated that uh, it would be my only response to the vicious comments. And I just gave the scripture backing that comment that I made, uh, or the quote that I, I said, and left it at that. And, I, I went on a couple of the pages of some of these people and one comment I read was, if you want to hear God's voice, read the Bible out loud. Now to me, I think of, of John 10, 27, which says, my sheep hear my voice. To me, that's such a, a powerful part of our relationship with God. So if I believe that when we are deceived in areas, and I believe that we all can, can walk in deception in areas, not to pick on certain people, but I think we can all have areas where we're deceived in or we're blinded. And when that happens, everyone else sees it. Have, have you ever met someone or known someone with, that had a huge problem and everybody saw it but them? Well, that's because they were blinded to it. Even when Jesus hung on the cross, what he spoke out in Luke 23, verse 34, was, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. See, it was, it was religious people that crucified Jesus. So they obviously were blinded to who he was and what he stood for. So I have two challenges for you today. The first one. Ask God to reveal any areas where you are walking in deception and then write them down. And remember, you will be aware of it. So really be open to God to hear what he has to say. And the second challenge, take your list from yesterday and today and proceed through the process through them. Repent, which positions you to receive from God. So you repent for walking in the sin and believing the lies, looking to people rather than to God and for any other deception. Give each one to God and receive truth, cleansing and freedom from Him. Bless you as you receive from God and walk in freedom from bondage. We'll see you tomorrow.